My boss stopped paying people so I shut his pub. I used to manage an amazing pub restaurant back in my old city. It's a 16th century coaching inn that had recently had a multi-million pound refurb. I more or less got on with the owner but I knew he could be a bit of a tool so I kept my eye on him. I hired all the staff and worked closely with them. They were all 1825 and I was early to mid-30s at this point so I saw them as kids that were my responsibility. I genuinely liked nearly every member of staff I ever hired and wanted the best for them. Here's where we get into it every week I'd input the hours my staff worked and send it over to the gaffer to pay. One day about five years into my tenure he told me he was taking over that job, obviously alarm bells rang as his unknown penny pincher. As anyone that's worked this job knows, it's common for staff to stay later than rotated quite often if the place is really busy or someone calls in sick. My staff were happy to help me out as they know I'd help them out if needed and often they need the extra cash. My boss decided that if people worked late or came in early then they wouldn't be paid for it. Staff that accounted for that money were left short that week. I had 18-year-old girls crying on my shoulder saying they can't eat, I was furious. I ranted at my boss and he gave excuses and said he'd look into it and refuse to reimburse staff for what they'd worked. Luckily at this point I'd lined up a new job because FCK this guy. I went to work on the next shift and my replacement in the evening just as it was getting busy was late. Now I'm no sucker, I do not work for free and neither do my staff. I went around the pub and told every customer that we were closing and told them why. I took food off people and returned their cash and threw it in the bin. I sent all the staff home and text my boss telling him hey the assistant manager was late taking me off, as I knew I wouldn't be paid for this extra work I've closed your pub. Moran he was going crazy. Phone rang off the hook and got ignored. I was put on gardening leave meaning I was getting paid for no work for a bit, I went into a disciplinary meeting hoping to be fired so I could appeal and get more gardening leave but they knew that I had too much on them, so they tried to just give me a ticking off. At which point I told them about themselves in no uncertain terms and then quit, in the following week the entire staff except the ass man quit too. The pub is on its ass now and he's trying to sell but no one wants it as it's underperforming and will cost a fortune. Posted on pro-revenge and malicious compliance but was removed for not being pro-revengey or malicious compliancy enough. Maybe anti-work can be its home? The man is an idiot, rule number one don't fuck with the staff. Sometimes people deserve to learn the hard way. It's too bad you couldn't swoop in at the last monument to buy it for cheap and bring it back to profitability. Adding salt to the wound why a no. Good. You did exactly what you should have. I hope your next gig was much better. Cheers for that story, mate. I hope it inspires many others here. Try our petty revenge. And, beautiful disgusting people who don't want to pay their workers. I hope he rots. Hell yeah comrade we all need someone to look out for us like this he got what he deserved. I knew I'd seen this somewhere before MC such a great story, it's a shame MC wouldn't allow it to stay up. Not all heroes wear capes salute to you, brother. Anti-work worthy for sure. And well done. How do you even sell a business with zero staff and no customer base because you annihilated the business through rampant mismanagement? Why wouldn't any prospective buyer simply open a pub that hasn't already failed due to the personality and criminal style of the owner, he better be selling that lease for half. You're a good person. I hope you live long and prosper. I love this. I love how you watched out and always took care of your staff. That's how it should be. They would likely follow you into the pits of hell because they knew you had your back. When I have a boss like that I work twice as hard and whistle while doing it. I thought us man was some kind of British pub slang for the guy who takes out the kegs or something. Took me a good minute to figure out you meant assistant manager. This belongs here, absolutely. This is what should happen at every company everywhere. OP is a legend. At which point I told them about themselves in no uncertain terms. Why I love reading British writings. Good on YA for this one. This is the way. 
also classic running a functioning company into the ground cause of greed. Entire staff except the ass man quit too. Kramer stayed? That's malicious compliance for sure ha 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 good on you. Very nice all because of a lazy ass man. Call up your former workers, buy out the place as a group. Go on nice winking face. This put a smile on my face. Well done buddy. I love this story so much and I'd totally consider it pro revenge. This guy learned fuck around and find out. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Seems like he forgot who actually makes who money. Welcome to the right place OP, cheers. Don't get it twisted. No matter where you live it rich vs poor even when the poor are trying to help the rich. The rich hate and pity poor people. The common advice I've seen for owning a business is unless it is on fire, don't fuck with how it works and just pay the people running it. Should have tacked on a phone call to the labor board for wage theft lol. Could try posting it on Nuclear Revenge too, they might like it there. And good on YA mate, never accept those kind of behavior. Hand salute pure brilliance, mate. I've already got my good years behind me, but I'm still aspiring to grow up to be like you op ha ha. Hey, I'm proud of you. This is certainly a great home for this post. Well done. So the ass man position may be opening up soon? Damn right and the asshole probably has no idea why you did him dirty like that. I have to stick up for my staff here and they're just like you did. Good for you. But most importantly good for the staff. Lots of people will stay at toxic places like that. The other subs may have said no, but at least Board Panda or one of the other sites that exist to copy Reddit posts and sell ad space picked it up. Shows how detached from reality he was that he didn't care if people could you know, survive. Real life isn't Minecraft. People aren't poor just because they aren't putting in the effort. Weight theft is not a joke, Jim. This exact story has been posted before. There is also our petty revenge. It's definitely appropriate here, given the wage theft, though. Love this. We'll never understand the thought process of a business owner, particularly one in such an unpredictable setting as owning a pub, who looks at a process that's been in place for five years and thinks, that's where I can save some money. Repost. Edit it's the same guy look below. IDK, I try buying it. This absolutely belongs here. Imma give this post a solid welcome home. I took food off people and returned their cash and threw it in the bin. Why not let the customers keep their money instead of throwing it away? Nice repost. Definitely read this word for word about a week or so ago. Totally BS. I enjoyed reading this again. Is this not a repost? I've read this one before. Is it the same author reposting? Or someone else reposting? Yes your fictional story is welcome here. This is the beginning of what CAN all the states that want third world country. This is what us Americans will have to deal with later. There's always a petty revenge. Thought I've seen this post somewhere before. Isn't this a repost? Need a TLDR. Third time this account has posted this story. This is a repost. Seems like you could have given him fair warning you'd take that action if not relieved or fairly compensated. Of course this is your side of the story, I wonder if there's more to this. My opinion unpopular based on the comments here you're the asshole for being happy about destroying a business instead of just resigning, like a grown-up. Not sure why I see this sub, but this screams immaturity. Harass man. Good on you, mate. Couldn't have done it any better myself. This is the free market at work. 